Welcome back to Voice of Africa, where we bring you the stories reshaping our continent. Today, we dive into a moment that shocked the world. Burkina Faso has just stepped boldly into the future. At the Semaine du Numérique 2025 in Ouagadougou, a fully interactive, walking and waving humanoid robot made its debut, and no one saw it coming. <laughs> In Ouagadougou today, the future did not descend from the sky. It walked into the room quietly on two metallic legs. No fireworks, no dramatic music, just the soft rhythm of a machine taking its first steps among the people who built its meaning. Look at it, a humanoid robot extending its hand to greet Burkinabé citizens, walking, waving, pausing, almost observing, as if trying to understand the warmth and the smiles reaching back at it. And around it, scattered like the seeds of a new dawn, are other marvels. Small robots, crawling like curious insects, quadrupeds patrolling the floor with military precision, assistant bots built for instruction, for detection, for rescue, each one carrying a different spark of Burkina Bear imagination. You can feel it. This is not a technology expo. This is a prophecy unfolding in plain sight. Because for centuries, the world told Africa that the future would be manufactured elsewhere. That our role was to observe, never to create. That machines would speak every language except ours. That innovation would rise in cities with snow, not dust. That our children would spend their lives importing other people's dreams. But in this hall, under the lights of the Semaine du Numérique, something sacred is happening. A robot created for interaction stretches its hand and a Burkina Bear child stretches theirs back. Metal meets skin. Warmth meets code. History meets possibility. And in that simple handshake, you can hear a whisper. Africa, your ceiling has cracked. Reflect on this for a moment. Not long ago, Africa's technological story was written by those who conquered. Their machines watched us, scanned us, controlled us, surveilled us. But today, our machines greet us. Our machines walk with us. Our machines serve our vision, not their empires. This is deeper than robotics. This is psychological liberation. This is the continent learning to trust its own intelligence again. Because when a humanoid robot built on African soil walks confidently beside its creators, when quadrupeds trot across the floor with Burkina Bear engineering beating in their circuits, when miniature bots display agility made possible by local hands, you begin to understand something profound. The distance between Africa and the future has collapsed. Look again at that robot lifting its arm to wave. There is no fear in the room, no intimidation, no inferiority, only fascination and pride. The people filming it are not filming a foreign miracle. They are witnessing a new chapter in their own national story. And as the robot interacts with smaller bots, moving among them like a senior among younger siblings, you realize you are watching the birth of an ecosystem, an entire generation of machines that will one day secure borders, teach classrooms, rescue civilians, farm lands, scan danger, and do in seconds what humans struggle to do in hours. This is no longer fiction. This is the Burkina Bear imagination taking physical form. And the world will pretend not to see it. Because if they admit what is happening here, they will have to confront the question they have feared for decades. If Burkina Faso can build this with limited resources, what happens when the rest of Africa wakes up? Because you can suppress a people, you can sanction a people, you can mock a people, but you cannot stop a people who begin to believe in their own brilliance. Burkina Faso has crossed a psychological frontier. 
The people of this land, the descendants of warriors and craftsmen, the children of miners, farmers, and dreamers, have stepped into a world the colonizer never imagined they would enter. And once a continent touches the future with its own hands, no force on earth can drag it back. So understand what you are seeing. This is not just a robot. This is a declaration, a warning, a promise, a symbol that Africa is no longer waiting for permission to rise. And if this is what Burkina Faso can unveil today, imagine what they will reveal tomorrow. This is Media One Africa, the voice of a rising continent. We don't report revolutions, we document them. Burkina Faso has just taken a bold step into the future, and the world is watching. As we witness Africa rise with innovation, creativity, and unstoppable determination, one thing is clear. This is only the beginning. Thank you for watching Voice of Africa, where we bring you the stories shaping tomorrow's continent today. If you found this breakthrough as inspiring as we did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a moment of Africa's new era of technology. Share this video with someone who still thinks Africa isn't leading the digital revolution because the future is being built right here. Until next time, stay informed, stay inspired, and stay proud. This is Voice of Africa, telling Africa's story, one innovation at a time.